When I was a kid, you'd tell me stories about the mermaids. Your ancestor lost his mind. He and his shipmates slaughtered these beautiful creatures in cold blood. Genocide. Tammy, thanks for making the time to speak with me. As we are talking, where are you right now? In what city? I'm currently in Winnipeg. What's the weather like in Winnipeg? It's a little cold. It's minus 24. Uh, it warmed up a little bit. It was minus 29, and I think it's around minus 34 with the wind chill. So it's a bit brisk out there. <laughs> okay, so I should not complain what's going on with Toronto because it's not even close to that. And usually this time of year, Vancouver, where you're from, what's the weather like usually around this time of the year? Uh, well, when I left uh, just a couple of days ago, it was like plus 13, so it was really nice, actually. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I am so looking forward to going to Vancouver. I'm going to be there for the uh, Juno Awards, so I am looking forward to hopefully the weather being on that. But more importantly, I am looking forward to seeing you in Siren. Con- Siren, congratulations on that. Um, as an actress, as Canadian actress, as an actress who's opening doors, Brothers, how do you feel being a role model and being able to do all these roles that you've been able to do over the last couple of years? Well, thank you so much. I appreciate that. And thanks for having me on your show. Uh, I'm really proud to be a role model and show these Canadian actresses that you can do it. Um, and small town actresses all around the world. It's uh, If you're really passionate about what you love to do and you put in the time and effort, uh, things can happen. I really believe that. It's all about what you think in your in your mind. How did you get started? Well, I started in, I guess it was really in high school. Um, A new English teacher moved to town and she started a drama club. And so I was really interested in that and I participated in that every year. But at that time, I didn't, I didn't have the dream of, oh, I can be an actress because literally there was nobody that I grew up around that had ever done that. Like the most sort of famous people that I knew were hockey players, you know, growing up in small town Manitoba. That's, that's the way it sort of went. And it wasn't until I went to university in Winnipeg that I was scouted when I was out one night with some friends and I started modeling and I didn't really enjoy the modeling, wasn't that successful at it. Uh, And I started auditioning for commercials and some short films and then that's when the bug bit and I was like, oh my goodness, I, I can do this and I really enjoy this. You know, most people see the red carpets, they see the glamorous dresses, they see the you know the interviews and coming out of hotels and fancy cars what's the (laughs) real reality though in being an actress trying to get your spot because there are i can't even count how many people are out there trying to do the same thing hopefully getting a role that you get um and then sometimes is that role that you're hoping to get that somebody else gets what's the real reality behind that the real reality is that you've got to hustle you've got it's a grind and you've got to be on top of your game at all times so for me that's like taking care of your body your mind keeping your acting chops sharp and it's like I work really really hard to be able to do what I do but even when we're you get the job it was funny because I was working on something last week and we were laughing because it was 2.30 in the morning on a Friday night. We're all sitting around waiting um, for the scene to be lit. And then there was an incident outside, so we had to wait and police had to show up. So now it's like 3.30 in the morning. We're 16 hours into our day and we were laughing about, oh, yeah, this is the glamorous life. <laughs> <laughs> Well, let's talk about um, what your hard work has paid off. I keep mentioning the word, the new series, Siren. Talk a little about it, please, because this is really fascinating. To me, it's like a mystery, bit of sci-fi, a a, a mix of everything, drama in this. Yeah, yeah, it's definitely like a combination of things. And I feel like it's something that, uh, especially it's a a mermaid-obsessed town. Uh, It's turned upside down when a mysterious girl appears and she happens to be a mermaid right so there isn't a ton i can say about the show but it's definitely dark and mysterious and a little bit scary um but it's also like really cool because nobody has really done anything 
to do with mermaids. And uh, if, if you watch the trailer, there's a trailer online and on YouTube right now, and it looks just like so – it's so exciting. We're all really, really excited about it. I play, yeah. the, uh, I play one of the town deputies. Uh, Deputy Marissa, so I'm involved when things start getting a little chaotic. And, you know, you just beat me to the question because I was going to ask you about your role. What did you have to learn about, you know, being a deputy? That's one. And two, because this almost breaks the um, – how do I put this? I don't want to say the myth of mermaids. The thing we grew up with of mermaids, I mean, people mention mermaids, they think of the little mermaid immediately. Right. How do you think this – this uh first about your role and then how do you think this show brings out something a little bit more i wouldn't even want to say realistic well it's not what typically people typically think about mermaids that's for sure it's definitely a different slant on that and uh in order to become deputy marissa i was sort of uh, lucky because i came off a show well i was actually working on another show at the same time called ghost wars uh, which is, is going to be released on Netflix worldwide on March 2nd, and it airs on Sci-Fi in the U.S. But for the role that I had on Ghost Wars, I was playing a mercenary. So I took it upon myself to learn and take a, a, a gun sort of safety handling course. So I learned a lot about guns uh, because I think it's important that uh, playing a deputy and being a police officer, you have to be very familiar with the, you know, your gun, which we they don't look at it as a weapon. It's a instrument that's used as a tool to be safe and help secure things. So learning about gun safety was really interesting because up until that point in my career, I'd never done anything or handled any weapons. Um, so it was really interesting learning about that and the different feeling you get when you carry a gun um, and the responsibility of that, even just being on set to make sure that you're safe and to ensure everyone else is safe. But one of the greatest things is that Siren is set in this small town, and I came from a small town. So one of the things I found really, really beneficial was knowing how a small town operates. Uh, wow. If that makes sense. It does make sense. So like I said, I'm looking forward to this. Before I continue with that, I should make quick mention. Congratulations. Didn't you just win an award? Yes, I did. Thank you so much. I won a UBCP uh, award for Best Actress for an independent movie that I shot actually partly in Winnipeg uh, called Menorca. Wow. What did that feel like when you found out first about the nomination? And, of course, when you hear your name being, you know, and the winner is, and then you receive it. It was, um, it felt really quite incredible. Uh, I, it's quite, it's an honor to be nominated and then to win based off the voting of your peers. I was really, I was really overwhelmed and really surprised and I was got kind of, <laughs> I was getting kind of emotional and I was to myself, I was like, you gotta keep it together to get through this moment. <laughs> but that's the thing, I mean, you just mentioned about, you know, Friday night, 2 a.m. in the morning. I mean, I could have been out with friends. I could have been sleeping, rolling over and things like that. And you're out there, you know, working and, as you said, hustling. And when you get those kind of accolades, I mean, that's what you can also say, too. That's when it's all worth it. Oh, absolutely. There's nothing that makes me feel better than when somebody watches something that I was a part of and they tell me, um, either good or bad, that it made them feel something. And I'm like, it's such an honor to have that that you know that you take the time out of your precious day to watch something that I'm in and it made you feel. Um, and that like, is really incredible. Uh, and one really amazing thing that happened with Menorca, because Menorca is kind of this dark movie about this woman that's really, really unhappy. And she, she kind of does these things to make herself feel alive. And she takes off one day and her son kind of, in a way, fires her and is like, don't come back because he can't deal with it anymore. And finally wakes her up to the fact that she feels like her son is the most important thing and she wants to win him back. Um, but what was interesting about that movie is I had some people reach out to me and say, like, I went through a similar experience with this with my wife, and I've never, ever thought about her perspective until I watched your movie, and it's really changed a lot of things for me, which I think is absolutely incredible. The other thing is, too, what I talked about earlier, role model. 
uh, helping to open up those doors again in uh, Hollywood North and in Hollywood South. Uh, what advice can you give those folks who do look up to you who say, man, if she can do it, I can do it too. What advice can you give them? My advice is if you want to do it, do it and do it 110%. Set yourself up for success in the best way you can by training, by keeping healthy, by keeping your mindset positive. And then you have to realize, because everybody's in such a hurry for it to happen now, that it's going to take time. And it's not about the destination. It's about the journey along the way. And you have to learn to enjoy that part of it. Because sometimes you reach like a milestone and you're doing it and you think, okay, this is the moment where I should feel fulfilled and it should be all amazing. But it doesn't come like that. So it's about the little moments all along the way. And if you persist, and you're a good person, and you're kind to people, and you work hard, it will happen. And that's just the path that I've taken, the path that a lot of people I know that that come from Canada that are successful is, you know, it's taken 10, 15 years to get to where they are. And now they're working consistently and more doors are opening. Um, But it's, it's definitely about realizing that there's never a time to sit back and wait for things to happen. And you've got to make them happen. And before we go, what do you hope folks get from uh, from the new series that begins March 29th? Wow, I'm just I'm really excited to see how everybody's going to respond to it, and I really hope that we get more and more seasons because it's just getting more and more exciting. Not only that, I'm hoping maybe somewhere down the line too, another maybe movie version that might hit the big screens. You never know. That would be cool. That would be cool too. Cross fingers on that. Thank you so much for taking time to speak with me. Congratulations on the success. Congratulations on representing the red and white up on the big and small screen. For folks who want to get in touch with you, where can they go social media? Social media, you can hit me up on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. My uh, Twitter and Instagram handle is Real Tammy Gillis, and then uh, Facebook is Tammy Gillis Official. Please reach out. Love to hear from you. Thanks. Thank you so much for taking the time to speak to me. It was uh, it was a great, great inter- interview. Thank you so much. And let's talk again, especially with new projects and season two. Fingers crossed. Absolutely. Take enjoy, care. Enjoy yourself at the Juno Awards in Vancouver. I hope the weather is good for you. <laughs> I am looking so forward to it. And who knows? We might even run into each other. Cross fingers. Hopefully we will. Yeah. Take care. All right. Bye-bye. Bye. Come inside, have a look, the only real mermaid artifacts in town.